Hey guys, it's me, Southern Hillbilly, or Sir Hillbilly. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3, the Fire Fades Edition, Squire Gabriel Gameplay, Episode 3. So today in this episode, we are going to go to the Cathedral, the Cathedral of the Deep. Now, I did get this Y-Hander and do some stuff with my souls from last episode, but uh, you, you are going to need to uh, come this way, because... Uh, what is it? We need to grab a very important item in order to progress to the next area of the game. And then by then, we'll be like halfway through the game. This game is very short. Uh, once you like, uh, what is it, beat it, and then go play it again. If you know what you're doing and know where you're going, then uh, this game's pretty short. So, once we get done with this area, we'll like almost be quarter w a quarter through the game. Now you just want to kill these enemies right over here and uh, get rid of these guys. Or you can just run through if you want. But I choose to kill them. Now, there will be this mage guy. You're gonna wanna take care of him. These guys are actually pretty strong if you don't have much health. Now, um. Yeah, just get rid of them. Like usual. And like that, we're already at the first boss. So, um, let me talk about this boss a little bit. So, uh, first of all, let's talk about these crystal orbs that are on his head. I accidentally used two pine bundles here. I, ac I thought there was Estus there, but there obviously wasn't. So, when you start attacking him, there will, like, he'll start, you know, he'll disappear. Because... He's a little wussy cat, and doesn't like it when he's hit. Just like a toddler. I'm sorry. Anyways, so, he'll fire off these crystal balls as well, or like crystal things. Uh, like, homing crystal, like a homing, uh, yeah, I believe it's homing. No, it's not homing. Sorry. It's like, a uh, homing soul arrow from Dark Souls 2. Anyways, I followed you. And, uh, it was very bad as well. But, um... At phase two, he'll spawn these guys. And the music will change. Um, if you break these crystals, I'm pretty sure they won't spawn there. And, uh... Or well, there's, like, a reduced chance of them spawning there. But you know that You'll know they're clones by, uh, what is it? By their blue... Uh, their blue crystal magic. Um, just take care of all of them. And then just proceed on to the crystal mage himself. Now! Good. Fortunately, he casted, uh, those. Now, if there are, like, one to two left, I believe. Or, like, the two on his left side. His left. Um. Then he will- he cannot teleport. And, for some reason, you can parry the crystal sage. Which is very weird, to be honest. Now, there is, like, a high chance that he'll spawn right where I killed that clone. And, uh... I, I, was, I was gonna go for the kill. But, uh, I decided that I needed to kill these guys first. Because if you leave those guys alive, which... You should just totally go for the kill. Um, but sometimes if you leave these guys alive and, like, he's on 1% HP, stuff like that, uh, they'll just spam you with magic to death, sadly. And, oh uh, my god, it's just painful when it's just on 1 HP and, yeah. And then he also has a crystal dragon breath attack, which is a sorcery for, like, late game. 
So now at this bonfire, you just want to proceed to the left, and you will have to do this before uh, proceeding from Abyss Watchers, which we will do in next episode. You know how it is, two boss per episode. You want more? Well, hit the like button. I'm just kidding, no, I do this for fun. Maybe. Anyways, so just kill these two uh, crystal lizards here. Make sure you don't fall down in that hole. That hole is the abyss, and you will die if you go down there. You will find the herald armor right over here. I don't know why they put that there, but I guess it just seems to fit, I guess. Uh. Anyways, just come over here and light this bonfire. Now if you want, you can just go over and, uh, you know, proceed on with the area. There's two of these NPC enemies. Not, They're not the same. One of them is the bandit from Dark Souls 1. The original bandit class from Dark Souls 1. Uh, recommendation, do not roll backwards. But, just kill this guy. And, uh, the item over there is, uh, some ashes. Now, here's the stupid thing. I accidentally, it, look, my controller, you know, thought I held triangle. And so, it equipped my left hand weapon. Now, it does look like I parry a lot, but, uh, you know, sometimes I thought, you know, like, the weapon was about to hit me. And so I just parried. I am trying to pack practice parrying. So then I can, you know, can become the parry lord. No, I just want to practice parrying for P PvP. Huh. So after that, you can go rest of the bonfire. I choose to because, you know, um, I like to have my Estus. And I do rest at it, like, just one more time. So if you think I rest at it a lot, you know, like, you cheat! No, it's only for these, uh, two guys. I just like to kill them because why not? Now this guy, you know, he had the most utter disrespect for me. He tried to finish me off with a throwing knife. God, how much disrespect can you have? And finish! Alright, so after you kill this guy, you can just, uh, go up here. Alright, let's proceed. Now, all you want to do is just go over here. Bonfire is not too far. And, uh, bonfire placement is kinda, kinda close. Let's be honest. It, that, it actually really is, um... Well, except for here, you know, there's some bonfire placement here and there. This is actually, uh, what is it, the only, you know, one of the last bonfires you're gonna get. There's one more after this one. Um, which I will show you. It's kind of a secret bonfire, not really. It does lead to a new covenant, though, and a quest line, which is for later on. And then that guy praying right there is actually the first DLC we're going to be going to uh, after we, uh, you know, complete this playthrough. Alright, so, after you light that bonfire, proceed right out to here. And you will be met with these guys. Now, that item right there is an Estus Flask shard. And there is a Undead Bone shard here too, which I will show you how to get. 
just in a little bit. Oh, and a double kill right there too. That's pretty cool. Alright, so just grab your SS Flash Shard and uh, let's go. Now you can't just proceed through this area right here. You'll end up in the same place anyways. But right over here will be a you know a little you know a little shortcut. It's not really a shortcut that matters though, as you will be led to the same place no matter what. Now just go across the bridge there and and kill this guy. Now, warning, this guy is a little difficult for, you know, people who don't have, you know, like good weapons, like weapons that do a lot of damage. That won't matter. Just take care of him. Or run past him if you'd like. Now, right over here is a shortcut, I guess, but over here you'll get the Curse Ward Great Shield. Haven't really gotten this on my playthroughs. Uh, you won't need this shortcut. Um, I haven't explored down here. But I'm pretty sure if you'd like, you can go explore down there. Could be some extra goodies that could help you on your journey. Uh, there is a maggot person, though, so you will want to watch out for that. If, uh,. Yeah, there is some goodies down there actually, so I have been down here. But if you get hit by that maggot person, it'll put maggots on you, which will deal some bleed damage. It'll, de it'll deal some uh, some pretty bad damage to you. So you don't want to get hit by that, because if you don't have a torch, and if you don't have red moss clumps, you could basically call yourself screwed unless you're fast unless you're fast enough which I should have probably bought a torch Now this is the moment of realization that I don't have a torch, which is a pretty, uh, which is a little funny. But these uh, maggot slash uh, worms do, uh, what is it? They do wear off in time. I believe it's like five cycles of you know blood loss. But you don't want to get hit by those maggot people. If you've already killed the guy, you don't have to go get that shortcut every time. You could just go the path I'm going right now. Now you're gonna want want to watch out for everything. If you want, you can just run past everything, and there's my maggots going away. Goodbye, maggots. You weren't missed. But there are a lot of enemies here, and you don't want that thrall catching you, because if that thrall catches you, uh, all the enemies are just going to gank you. I thought that was a, you know, little, little window of escape, you know, a little shortcut, but no, that's not a shortcut, that's just a trap. I believe there are some embers over there. These guys can actually help you. If you open the door, they will deal some damage, and probably knock back. Uh, what is it? Some of the uh, assassins with the daggers and stuff like that. And uh, that other guy with the flame thief knife, thief thief stagger, he decided not to light himself on uh, fire. Now you will get a shortcut once you go through here. It's right through here. Thank God they added this shortcut. Well, you'll have to go through all that again. Anyways, just come down here, open the door. And then open the big doors.
and bada bing and bada boom. Or bada bing, bada boom. I said bada bing and bada boom. But it's bada bing, bada boom. You have yourself a shortcut. I mean, it's not too far. I, well, I, I, just, just, uh, be happy with what you have. Anyways, so just go up the elevator and go through here. You don't have to worry about that downstairs bit. We're just going on the main path. Anyways, just go through here. Watch out for this dagger dude. He won't, I don't think he'll chase after you. And, uh, the giant shouldn't hit you. If you won't run through fast enough. Sometimes he'll hit you through this, uh, what is it? Stairs. Sometimes he'll hit you through the stairs. Um, down here is a mimic. And I do get invaded. Right about now? No? But I do get invaded while attacking this mimic. So, yep, there he is. And now we're gonna cut after I kill this guy. Because can't deal with the, you know. Well, I'm not gonna deal with an invader right now because we might just go through the rest of the level already happened so after you kill the mimic or just ignore him you can just go through here there is a miracle which I am gonna pick up you know just a mini you know helper it's not really too hard to miss it is seek guidance it's not really useful anyways these thrall guys will come and ruin your day and uh, usually when you're down here there's gonna be this cathedral knight dude who's uh, walking He's walking on the rug that we're on, but no, he just seems to be doing his thing. Anyways, you just want to turn left, and you'll be in the main area where we need to be. Now, if you want another shortcut, and uh, to a new place, which we're going to explore, uh, I do also have to deal with this guy. He's a, he's an NPC invader, so you get invaded by him always. Anyways, just open up the shortcut, go down here, and then you'll see there's two doors. Now, you want to open the other doors, not this one. Well, you you will want to open this one too if you want another bonfire. This isn't a shortcut, it just leads to a new part. Uh, the rooftop, or near the rooftop, not, like, yeah, it's like in the building, but it's the roof, roof of the building. I don't know what to call it. Anyways, let's go explore that part. Now you just want to deal with this crossbow guy. If you haven't noticed, we are at the where we went into the cathedral, which is at the beginning of this episode. Episode's not too long. It's just 28 minutes and 11 seconds. That's what I can see. Uh, if you do want a ring, you can kill this guy and get the deep ring, which gives you one attunement slot. Honestly, I'd prefer the dark moon ring. Anyways, so now you want to go through here if you want the next bonfire slash covenant and there will be this crossbow knight just ignore him there's also a blessed gem up here but unfortunately I didn't get that on footage that'll be in my old trophies guide which will be after this series so stay tuned for that starting from Dark Souls 1 by the way if you haven't noticed Obviously. Why would we start from three? Anyways. So, we're actually at the next bonfire. It's not in here. We have to open a door. But if you want, you can just kill this guy and get the red sign soapstone. Honestly, I thought the red sign soapstone was in like a chest where you had to like uh, get it from someplace or buy it like you had to do, do uh, <laughs> like you had to do in Dark Souls 2. But nope. It's just killing uh, one random uh, enemy. Anyways, you'll be at your next bonfire, and if you go talk to the lady uh, over here, 
if you kill the Kirk, you can get a set. But if you go talk to this lady right over here, uh, you'll be able to join her covenant. Now, what sh uh, she can actually do a few things. She can, uh, uh, what is it? She can realign your stats. She can change your appearance, which you can only do five times in a single playthrough. You'll have to go into a new, uh, what is it? New game plus, in order to, uh, what is it? Get five more, you know, chances to, uh, what is it? Re, uh, or not? Yeah, make your, yourself look anew. I forgot what it was called. I'm, st I'm stupid. Anyways gonna kill this thrall guy right over here now right over here we have this giant dude don't want to worry about him I did grab all the shinies right over here just for the kicks of it but right over here you have the drang shoes the drang armor the drang gauntlets this large soul drang hammers a pale tongue which uh, you will need to start a quest, I believe, and also get an NPC summon. Anyways, uh, yeah, drain armor, and then drain gloves, which we have for gauntlets, and then the drain hammers. There isn't a drain helm. I'm not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no drain helm. If there was, uh, two per uh, two NPCs would have helmets now. If you've already played this game, you would uh, know what I'm talking about. They're in a later part of the game. Uh, let's just say uh, Frosty Place. Well, not Frosty Place, but like a like a like a snowy place. Yeah. Anyways, so you want to just come up here and. Uh, now to avoid this guy, you just want to like you know, follow this right pillar and immediately take right and run over to here if you don't want the night guy noticing you. Works 100%. You just have to stay close to that pillar. Now uh right over here, we're going to have a, you know, little scene change as Sor Horus is getting summoned. Uh you will be able to do this if you progressed Arnie and Horus's quest a little bit. Anyways, so this is the final boss of the episode. Now, a little, a uh, little thing about these guys. Here's what I'm using. Um, you will need luring skulls. Not need, but you're probably gonna want them if this is your first playthrough and you're just searching up a guy to see where you're going. Honestly, I recommend playing this game blind, but. This game is pretty much straightforward. So, um, I mean, except for a few things about it, but uh, I'm just jibber jabbering. Anyways, there's gonna be, uh, this room is going to be filled with fat guys, small skinny guys, and tall skinny guys. Honestly, we don't even eat anything in this game, so, um, except for Estes soup, so that's what these fat men could be, uh, filled up with. Just endless amounts of soup. Man, these guys really need more than soup. Anyways. So, you're gonna want to kill the red guys and ignore everything else. Since Anri and Horus, we'll just, uh, we'll just kill them for you. Dear God, these guys are maniacs. So just kill the red guys. And if you're having a little trouble, um, try using the alluring skulls. Because those will help you a lot through this battle. You know, if you're trying to heal up with, you know, your spells or you're trying to, you know, do something else, like kill the, one of the red guys. Um, what is it? Sorry. Trying to kill one of the red guys and, uh. Sorry. Brain fart. Um, trying to kill one of the red guys, then just throw an alluring skull somewhere. They'll get distracted by it, since these guys like souls, or whatever comes out of the skulls. I, I saw it was souls in the description. Yes, I do read the loading screen descriptions. Honestly, it's, uh, you know, quite a distractor, you know, invading someone. Anyways. 
So, after they get to 50% health, this guy will spawn in with all of his deacon buddies. You just want to focus on him, and not anyone else. You just want to get in all that damage, since these guys will heal him, and that's a big problem. Since this is, uh, I believe, one of the main healing bosses in this game. Unfortunately. Anyways. Just throw your alluring skulls. And, uh, yeah, this fight should be pretty easy. So. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty much it. I could talk about anything else. Oh! Guy is dead now. Oh, wait, it isn't! I forgot! I, and apparently, I don't deal enough damage to actually kill the full boss. Uh, even though I did a full charge heavy attack. Oh yeah, the change of armor is what my main wears. My main character. First playthrough. Anyways, after the fight, just light the bonfire. And, if you want some extra armor, you know, why not, then just uh, rest at that bonfire, like you normally do. And just uh, pick up this sweet, sweet loot. Oh yeah, an extra. So if you do, uh, what is it? If you exit the boss room and turn to your right and f like keep, you know, keep uh, keep yourself to the right, you will be greeted with an elevator. Now there should be like a small doorway. Uh, it's like to the left of the, what is it? Uh, wh when I told you to stick to the right of the pillar thing. Um. Sorry, brain fart again. I keep having, uh, you know, I always keep having these during episodes. But if you uh, come down here, uh, you'll be greeted with the area we were just at. So I guess this is the front door to the uh, cathedral of the deep. Anyways, so this is how to get that, uh, what is it? This is how to get the undead bone shard. Uh, you can also get this, or can also get this, while you're, you know, normally uh, going through. So, just, like, turn to your right once you see, you know, the assassin dude. Or, like, go to this extra, not extra area, but you can get this. I just decided to open the door. You can start a quest here, actually. Uh, I recommend starting it later, though. Anyways, this is the end of the episode. Subscribe, like, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, also found this episode slash guide helpful, and I will see you guys later. See ya!